Hey folks and welcome to the Pipnotic Symposium for the 25th of November 2019. Um, today we are going to have a look at a, a few different pairs. We're not going to spend too much time um, uh, on, the, on the symposium today, but we're going to have a look at a, a couple of charts and I'm going to continue using the same analysis as we did on, on Friday because I think this is a really nice way for us to help identify um, where we are allowed and not allowed to buy and sell. Okay, so we're going to start with um, with Bitcoin American dollar. And a lot of people were saying recently that Bitcoin's going to go up and up and up and up and up. But if if you refer back to the symposium we did a, a few weeks ago, we discussed Bitcoin and we said that it was going to fall. And the reason that we decided this was because that Bitcoin was doing some pretty interesting things okay so if we have a this price fee looks different than the one I normally use but here it is so we have we have this area of demand just here which was tested many times okay so you can see we had many tests here historically and then this area of supply calls the consumption of this area of demand and you know this is demand because we left here and since this departure we managed to have an incredible push higher uh, up to these about $14,000 levels. And so this is a really nice attempt to uh, revisit the all-time highs on Bitcoin American dollar. Okay, so this is an important area of demand. The, the strongest move originated from this area of demand. Okay, it was tested several times and then it was removed. Okay, then you ask yourself the question, what area of supply caused this area of demand to be consumed? And then you can see here that it was this one here. Okay. And the Pipnotic software drew this on our charts um, a few weeks before price got there. So we were, it was telling us to sell here um, a long time ago. Uh, price post, poked into the area, the area held, and now price is moving lower. And the reason this area held was because this area of supply is responsible for consuming this demand. Okay, so, so this area of supply held, now price is moving lower. So then you ask yourself the question, well, where's price going to go? That's a really good question. If we have a look try and have it we'll, have, we'll try and answer that question you can see here that we had this departure from here price went up we left the slingshot was pulled back to here we reached the all-time highs and we tested this area many times okay so we're gonna mark that off it's tested several times and then it was removed okay so the area that removed that it's gonna scroll back is here well this one here is the one that removed it and this one here was removed by by here you can see that price rallied we poked into the area we pulled back and then we left and so there's something in here that's telling us that we have a pretty good amount of a uh, of bullish order flows just here okay so this is a really interesting area for us for the reasons we just highlighted okay so another thing that I really like is this and I like this because if we go to the weekly chart you can see very clearly what we're looking at on the weekly chart I mean this becomes very clear what we have to do this is the top area this candle kind of closed above the high of this one so for this I mean you want to be buying here okay that's about where you want to be buying it here the area of demand is here we can go down to the low that's what we have so we have a couple of areas here the the 5328 and below that we have the 40 about the 4100 area these are really nice areas okay and so looking at this we want to identify the buy and the sell sides okay and we'll do that very quickly using this here so we want to buy the sell size the sell size you mark from the high to the low which is about here the buy side is on the other side so we'll just mark that off it goes from the same high and it goes to where the low is which is here okay and this means essentially that we cannot buy on any quote unquote demand that we form here okay there's no demand here uh, this is demand in here and this is demand in here okay so we can only buy on price levels that we see in this side of the chart okay we are not allowed to buy here we're only allowed to sell Okay, so we're allowed to take that short on the daily chart that we saw here, that we were 
um, told about uh, several weeks ago. Okay, and price tested, now we're going down. So we're allowed to sell here, we're, we're allowed to buy here. You cannot buy here and you cannot sell here, okay? So we have a really nice price level here at the 5328.90. So $5,328.90. This is a really nice area of demand. And this is interesting because this area of demand is responsible for consuming this supply. And this area of supply is responsible for consuming the area of demand here that we see price testing here historically. And there are more further to the left, okay? So this is a really interesting area for us to consider. Demand over here, the demand was taken out by this supply. This demand consumed this supply and price has not been back yet. So this is where we look to buy. We don't really want to mess around with anything in here. We want to focus on the on the daily and the weekly uh, charts here because this is where the major flows are going to be visible. And you can see them very clearly on the weekly chart. You can see that we have this one here. And we have a really nice pattern. So price, we came down here, we rallied, accumulated, we rallied, accumulated, rise. So this is a continuation pattern. And it's a good one because this one consume this. If we go and have another look, just to reiterate, we had we had this area of demand tested several times. This area of supply consume this one. This area, let me, let me draw these. So this area consume this. This area consume this. Okay, price has not been back to here. Yeah, so when it does, I'm thinking it's probably going to go north. If it doesn't, we're probably going to go back down to here. And once we've revisited this area and price, if price continues to uh, seek or advertise cheap prices, well, then I think we're going to go back to here. Okay, and these are some pretty low prices for Bitcoin. Okay, and we also have, I mean, this is a really good price for Bitcoin. If we look at the price level, what are we? We're about, the, we're under $3,000. So that's a pretty good, that's a pretty cheap price for Bitcoin. Okay, so we are certainly advertising value down at these levels. And this is interesting because from, from the point that this area of demand was established, price went up, the slingshot was pulled back, and we reached the all-time highs. This is the all-time high for Bitcoin. It's like about the $19,000 area. Okay, and it all originated from this area here. This is a reaction to this. So if we use our little thing here, buying, we can mark from the high to the low, which is down here and for selling. We go from here to where price currently is. Okay. And so and this worked out pretty well for us, didn't it? If you, if you consider this, we had, we had, we had selling going on here. Price went up to here and revisited the beginning of the sell zone, which is right there almost to the pip and then we went down okay but now within the sell room this uh, the sell area we have this demand area um, um, looking pretty attractive and it's a, and it is a demand area an area to buy because it's in this one here and this is the reason this is interesting to us is because um, we had some seriously beautiful patterns evolve up to here Okay, and now we're kind of trying to take back some of that. Okay, you can see the pattern of this. You see, this is kind of acceleration, how I mean, price kind of goes up like that. So this is acceleration. This is powerful. This is a powerful move. Okay, and this one is kind of the less powerful move, which kind of just looks like that, which is just price kind of like just dropping lower. So this is, this is showing um, a lot of buying pressure here. Okay, and like we have this super beautiful buy area here. Okay, so this is the, uh, the 53.28.90. Uh, so keep your eyes on that. And um, I think you should probably do uh, pretty pretty well there. Okay, good. Well, I'll, I'll leave it at that for today. Nice and short. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, and thanks very much for your attention for watching.